<laughs> so tonight I was hanging out with my friends Scotty and Allison and James Carnes and Zach Swee. And uh, we decided to order some Chinese food. I was feeling up for Chinese food. I was like, let's get some Chinese food. This will be great. We uh, ordered Chinese food. Took a little bit longer than we were expecting. Not too terribly longer. It came a little later, apparently, than we had thought. I didn't know what was going on, because I'm usually pretty oblivious. Uh, we just ordered a bunch of family-style stuff. We thought we'd share it. Uh, so we put it all on the table. We all got some plates, and we sat down. We started eating it uh, approximately 10 till 7. Uh, so we're all divvying it up. You know, I was like, oh, that looks good. Oh, look at that. That looks good. It tasted pretty good to me, and uh, it, was, it was actually good enough, in fact, that I went back for seconds. Uh, I went back for seconds. A few other people had some seconds. I think Zach went back like 10 or 12 times. And I'm a hungry guy. When I'm hungry, I need to eat food. Uh, there was one crab rangoon left, and Allison and I were both at the table, and... Uh, you know, we were debating, Allison was debating as to whether or not she should take it because she didn't know if uh, other people wanted it. Um, Allison actually asked me if I wanted uh, the last uh, piece of crab, whatever. There's some tension over the Rangoons. She actually tried to give it to me, but um, since I eat meat and she doesn't, I decided I'd go with the chicken instead. So she had the crab Rangoon. So I got the little crab thing, and I was getting ready to eat it, and I took a little bite out of the outside, thinking it was a cheese wonton, and there was crab in it, and I was like, Allison, what's in this? Because uh, I thought it was real crab. Allison's like, no, no, it's imitation meat, don't worry about it. And I was like, oh, okay, and then she was like, but I wouldn't eat it. And I was like, well, why not? And then she showed me this thing, and I was like, well, what the heck's that? And this guy's like, what is that? What's hanging in the Rangoon? There was something, there was some little thing there's something hanging out of the Rangoon, and we're like, what is that? Turns out it was a pretty good decision that I didn't take it, because when she opened it up, there was a Band-Aid in there. She found a Band-Aid. No, oh, like, like a Band-Aid. Like a used Band-Aid. A Band-Aid. There was a Band-Aid in the Rangoon. She fortunately decided to pick this one apart instead of just crunching into it, as uh, I most likely would have done. Um, and so she was able to discover the band-aid before it was, uh, ingested. I just really can't talk about it. It's gonna make me sick. So, we freak out. Um, James Carnes is running around screaming. It almost caused me to stop eating, but my stomach is pretty strong and the hunger was even stronger, so... Mm -hmm. Did not eat the Band-Aid because that would just be gross, but I did finish my plate. No, we looked through the phone book to try to find the Department of Health, and that was a real uh, ordeal. It was really hard to find the Department of Health. I'm kind of worried about Orlando's priorities. And we called the place, and they, uh, they gave us our money back, but we still tipped the delivery boy for bringing us the Band-Aid. Um, I learned that... Food cannot always be trusted, even when it's dead. Uh, so after a while, I mean, we just kind of, we were really contemplating the situation. I mean, we didn't know what to do. Uh, none of us knew how we were going to move on with our lives. So we wrote a song about it. the beginning. I mean, that was our big break. We had no idea that it would take off the way it did. Yeah, it just really seemed to connect with people, you know? We had people sending us fan mail all the time and saying, yeah, we went through stuff like this too, and people were just feeling heartened by it, and uh, it also got a lot of radio play. I guess the DJs really thought we were pretty jamming. Yeah, we kind of juggled with names for a while, but uh, I think ultimately it was... Um, I mean, it was already decided for us. We were the band-aids. Wow, guys, that was really great. I wonder what other kind of songs we could write about. Well, we could write a song about your mom. You're stupid. It'd still be funny. Guys!